These days, if you find yourself in an operating room, it's more and more likely here that your surgery will happen with the help of a robot. In today's Your Life, Your Health, new specialist Aaron Cox shows us how robotic technology is bringing precision and comfort to patients. I remember I went into the operating room and the robot was above me and they were like, okay, this is the robot that's going to be performing your surgery. I think I was a little nervous at first when I heard that she was the first one at this specific hospital, but I felt safe. She was in the right hands. Jesse Briggs was in the right hands all right. This Da Vinci robot is just a tool. Dr. Brian Cook's hands. It's just at the end of the day, it's a tool and it's an extension of what I'm doing with my hands. Back on April 4th, doctors transplanted one of Jesse Briggs' healthy kidneys into husband Henry. Jesse's dad, who works in medical sales, had seen a recent demonstration. And he saw one of the robots cut open a grape. So I was like, if the robot can sew a grape up, they'll be fine doing it to me. She was Henry's perfect match, a one in a hundred thousand chance. Henry's kidney function was low and he was running out of time. I believe I was below 15% function for at least eight months. But now... I didn't know people could feel as good as I feel now. Now keep in mind that the robot only removed Jesse's kidney. The actual transplant took place by more traditional means. The impact on the donor is much less invasive and the incision much smaller. With a robotic approach, I'm able to do a kind of a bikini line incision similar to a C-section incision. We're seeing the patients are having much quicker recovery, less pain, um, you know, smaller risk of hernia with a smaller incision. I wasn't a big fan of the big incision and I didn't want that on my body. It reduces some of the potential side effects of, of actually getting the kidney out to then transplant. For Dr. Richard Mayturn, the potential development lies in all kinds of surgical fields, thoracic, prostate, and cancer treatments, to name just a few. It is cancer surgery that requires reconstruction because that's where the robot really thrives. Intermountain currently has three Da Vinci robots, but Jesse's robot was the first. If it was the first one at Intermountain, we should just name it Jess. Too late, Henry. This one is named Lucy. For your life, your health, Aaron Cox, KSL 5 News.